down the business. I have no time to play around. What is this? It's Chivo's and I'm back again. Let's see if you can figure out where the quotes are coming from because they're quite popular. So, um, transfers, transfers, transfers. Let's have a look. All right. Jamie Fortunato went out, didn't need him. Liam Thorne went out, he's young, but just wasn't wasn't fitting in for us, unfortunately. Jovan O'Kana left, probably shouldn't have left, but he left, unfortunate, oh well. Philip Navas, centre midfielder, just wasn't good enough. Um, also, Alvaro, Alvaro Garcia Valdecasas uh, got signed by another, another, uh, another... Another team. That's what I was trying to say. So on the ends, David Olmedo Cruz. Um, just a bit of depth, not bad. Uh, he's been playing a bit actually due to injury. Um, then you see Jamie Fortunato is on the outs because we bought him in, but he wasn't good enough. Uh, Kyle Parody, uh, guy we brought in on a free from Man 62. Very good striker, leading the line at the moment. Better than Menes. He's getting paid 190 pound a week. A bit unfortunate. Lawrence Forshaw. Alright, 24 years old. Defensive midfielder. Great defensive midfielder. He's been starting the line. So on £30 a week. Excellent. Um, got Dale Colling on a free. He's only 18 years old, so he's not starting for us yet. He is a goalkeeper, though. So uh, hopefully we can develop him and gladly, I will gladly uh, keep him in the uh, in the team. He's only 18. Plenty of time to develop. So we're Yusuf Sabari. Also a goalkeeper. Better than Yusuf Almani, I think his name is. I oh, keep forgetting. So, um, better than him. As you can see, we'll go in the comparison. Compare with uh, Yusuf Alhana. See, a bit better. Not much, but a bit better. So, excellent news there. Oliver Weatherstone. He's only 16 years old. Got him on a free. He's on 25k a week, so he's on a youth contract. But, heading 14, marking 11. He'll be one for the future. Hopefully, I can put his tackling up a bit later. Putting Connor Harrison on a free, if you look, t great centre midfielder, bit of depth. Um, just in case Caratero gets injured, we've got him there. We brought in Fetty. Fetty's not a bad player, he's just depth. Once again, depth is what we need, so um, he's a centre back, can play left or right, very versatile player. He's 30 years old. And also brought in Christian Diani, he's a, just a backup right midfielder because we didn't have one, so we'll bring him in as a right midfielder. So last time I saw you, we did uh, get a, a knockout of the Europa League. But if you check the finances, they have gone up and they're starting to go down. And there's a reason to this. If you go to the board, youth facilities. They suggested upgrading the youth facilities. I didn't realise, but I did. I should have upgraded the scouting range, but I upgraded the youth facilities. Made a big mistake there. But that's going to take about a year's time. So by this time next year, maybe a bit later next year. We will have new youth facilities, which means the youth intake will be better every year, which is what we want, because we don't want to develop players from our home country for Europe. So that's good. Um, apart from that, uh, there's not much really going about. Competition-wise, um, as you can see, we've got knocked out of the qualifying round. Uh, Rock Cup hasn't entered. Senior League Cup hasn't entered. But we did win the Pepe Reyes Cup, which is like the winner of first year versus second year or something like that. Oh, I'm, I'm not quite sure, but we won the Pepe Reyes Cup, which is good. We've already got silverware for the year, so we'll have a look. Obviously, we lost 4-0 home and away against Vaduz in Europa League, but you go down here, Europa Point, beat him in a friendly, beat Moz Culp in a friendly, drew with Jib Scorpions in a friendly. Pepe Reyes Cup, we won 2-0, 1,005 people there, which is good. In our first home night in Europe, 1,486 people. It's nearly a packed, or a decent sized stadium anyway. And as you can see, Pepe Reyes Cup, we played Lincoln, Gibraltar. Uh, we beat them 2 0. And then, first game of the season, it was uh, Lincoln, Gibraltar again, 2 1. So, um, I'll bring you St. Joseph's today. So, we'll go to the match preview. So, the tactics still the same. Obviously, Almedo Cruz is out, so that means. Uh, Unfortunately, Salvador Ruiz is going to have to come in. We're going to have to play without a backup. Oh, this is not looking good. So, uh, Bruce Matthew Smith can come in. He's a defensive midfielder. If things go bad, I'll play three at the back with two defensive midfielders. Keith Manning is still on the bench. I can see Cole Parity is there. Steven Sousey is still on the bench. It's just because Aguilera is better. Monte Griffo is starting because uh, Ricky Duarte is injured. 
three to four weeks yet, so bit of recovery time for him. Chris Phillips is also out. He's average player, but uh, we got a few better players in the squad, so this will be how we'll go out. Still standard flexible, only retaining possession. Um, as you can see, there's only eight teams in the league. We've only played one game. We've won, so hopefully we can get a result here. So I always apply the advice. I'll tell the boys calmly. Um, I'll tell you. I'll tell you what. Good luck out there tonight. I'll tell the boys calm. I have faith in you. Look at that. That's a massive talk. I have faith in you guys too. And once again, I do have faith in the strikers, but Kyle Pouty's not having a bar of it, unfortunately. So here we go. Starting the game against St. Joseph's Gibraltar. And they've played forward already, which is not good. Uh, but it's not a highlight, which is excellent. It's just one of the start of the game highlights. So hopefully we can just hold possession of the game as it looks like we've won the ball. Fetty uh, scored on debut actually, which is very good for him. For sure, Saban Kato, the captain. Martos Gutierrez, parody on goal. Yes, parody, lovely, lovely car. Excellent, excellent. That's what we need. Goal to start off 12 minutes through. Parody is starting the season on a high. We do only play 14 games, so... We'll have to see what, what comes of this, but that's excellent, and it looks like we're going to be on the defensive now. We've got a lot of numbers back. Hopefully, we can shut them down here. They're just running. Gretsch. Oh, play out. Galvizo. No, he plays in. Oh, Sabari. The new keeper, Sabari. Yusuf Sabari. Excellent there. Great save. So, push forward. Here we go. He's played it out. Oh, he's played it straight back to him. But four shots picked up. Parity. Number 27. I'm going to have to give him a better number. Aguilera. 23. Plays it back to Martos Gutierrez. Go to Saban. Saban. Parody. Parody. Hits a post. Ooh. Could have made it 2-0 there. As you can see, on the right, uh, sorry, on the left, you've got uh, three shots, one on target, one off target, two clear-cut opportunities. So, we need to be converting those a bit better, but we, we're looking quite dominant so far. I'm saying that, I bet you something will happen with uh, St. Joseph's, but... We're looking good. We're controlling the ball. 57% possession after half now, which means we're, we're in control. So Bar is way too high up the pitch for my liking. Uh, he's dropped back. Martos Gutierrez to Aguilera. Aguilera played to, to the captain. To Martos. To Parody. Goal. 2-0. 2-0 Kyle Parody. Two goals. Yes, he was in his first game, so I couldn't play him. I had to play Frankie, I think it was. Frankie did alright, but no comparison to Kyle Parody. Kyle Parody's on a whole other level. The Frankie, as you can see, he's already scored two goals, um, which is excellent. I mean, going going at this rate, we're gonna have a good season, but no no promises yet. We're pushing towards the uh, the halftime whistle. Two minutes of added time, so push, push, push. We'll have that done. Excellent. So I tell the boys passionately, I'm very happy with the way things are going. Keep it up, and what a team talk that was. So here we go. We'll start the second half. Mash. Gave his own. So, we have signed people on some deals. Um, I'll, I'll tell you what, I'll go into the wage thing in a minute. I just want to show you who's down on a deal, who's not, and who's getting paid what. Some people might be on a bit too much money, but the people on a lot of money are people I generally want to keep here for a couple years. And I'll. I'll Monte Griffo plays in. A uh, bit of muck around the box. Martos Gutierrez. Monte Griffo again. Oh, he hit the woodwork. From out on the wing. You don't see that bug much in uh, FM15, but I've seen a couple goals like that, which is good, but uh, not as many as last year. Uh, oh, a bit of a muck up at the back there. It's not good, so I think we might start trying to close this game down a bit. Let me just see what happens here. Uh, if they score, then I'll have to push forward, but if we score, we'll start closing down. Parity, get around him. Just hold it up. Yep, Caratero, go back to Parity, come on. He's waiting, Monte Griffo. Whip it in. Whip it in. Martos Gutierrez played in. Come on, played in. No, no. Foul. Steven. Steven's actually a player I'm looking at getting in. He's quite versatile. And uh, I, th I think he actually accepted my deal, but uh, I'll have to have a look at that. Hopefully, get him in because he's quality. He just need a bit more depth in the centre back position, and he will give us that. Parody for the hat trick. Oh, Ignacio with a penalty save. Oh no, Kyle Parody. Oh, he's missed out on the hat trick there. I won't I won't send him off for that. He's still on two, so 
I would have taken him off and given him a big round of applause from the from the, the fans, but unfortunately it's just not to be at the moment. So as we say, we're 70 minutes through. Let's start closing this game down and be alright. Adrian Pino can come on for uh, Sabatero, the captain. As you can see, Pino doesn't really like it there. So Martos Gutierrez can sit. No, I'll tell you what, I'll take Gutierrez off too. I'll, I'll do what I was planning on doing. I'll bring uh, Matthew Smith in. I'll just drop two defensive midfielders behind the front line and just defend a bit more now. We, since we are just standard flexible, we'll just c control the play a bit more. It doesn't matter if we push too far forward. Just as long as we're defending, just uh, hold the rest of the game out. Adrian Pino has picked up a knock, which is bloody pathetic. So I'll swap him. And Connor Harrison can actually have a run. We'll give Connor a run. So, so yeah, go out there, Connor. So run the last four minutes off. Hopefully Pino's not out. We have got a bit of injury at the moment, unfortunately. But that is football. Come on, we're in injury time. Just get it over and done with, ref. Here we go. This should be the final highlight of the game. They do have possession. Oh, well, they've gone back into the middle. But they're going to push into the final third. Eight seconds to go. They should just give it up. You're not going to score two goals in eight seconds. Three, two, one, zero. Full time. Gibraltar Phoenix 2. St. Joseph's nil. So I tell the boys passionately and very happy. And look at that. Not a bad team talk at all. Kyle Paddy did get me in the match. That has pushed us into the top two with a gap. Already a three point gap. Obviously, it's not very big, but three point gap. Let's leave the match and I'll quickly have a look at Wage before we uh, before I, I, I move on. So we'll go to the squad and the thing I want to have a look at is contract. So as you can see here, people get paid the most. Kyle Parody, obviously because he's the uh, the main the main goal scorer. Of course, he should be on a big contract. The use of Sabari, the big the big uh, the big shot stopper there. We need him as up there. Connor Harrison on quite a large deal, but looking at him, he's 21. He could develop. He's still got two, three more years of development, and I'm happy to keep him here. Obviously, the captain. He's only on eighty pound a week, which is, seems quite low, but uh, he's happy to take that. That's that's actually what he wanted, so I'm I'm not going to complain about that. And uh, Yarrett, for sure, Gutierrez, all on low wages. And uh, Guerrero, Ricky Duarte, Yusuf Allen, Steven. So all these guys are guys I really want to keep. All the guys down here aren't really that big. I do want to sign down Adrian Pino, uh, Montegrifo, and possibly Keith Menez, depending. Uh, but as you can see, like here, Frankie's on five pound a week. Jamie Smith's six pound a week. Even Stephen Clark's on six pound a week. So you can't go wrong here. Paying you play six pound a week if you're gonna s sign him on. But check the inbox. See Adrian Pino, only two weeks. That's that's not bad. We'll probably recover by the next game. Yeah, be recovered by the next game. So it's so, great. Yeah. All right, we'll get through this. Sorry. All right, pretty impressive. So yep, yeah, there you go. Twenty six. So. Competition wise, we won't worry about that. Schedule wise, that was um, uh, September. Next thing I will do, obviously, we've got the Senior League Cup. I won't stress about that too much. I'll probably go Rock Cup second round, just because that's near the end of the transfer window. So that's I'll probably just do end of the transfer window because it's easier for me. You can look at the ins and outs and the current form. So, uh, yeah, well, I'll, I'll leave you there. Thanks for watching. This is Chivos. I hope you enjoyed. Smash smash a comment if you like. Don't worry about the like button. Smash a comment. Tell me what you think because I'll only progress how you want. I got a lovely comment the other day which really, really just inspired me to keep doing this series because people want to see me grow and that's uh, that's that's how things go. But I'm Chivos. Have, have, a, have a lovely day, morning, evening, whatever. I'll catch you guys on my next Football Manager video.